We just got back from seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> oh no. We'll be back right after this. Hi folks, welcome back to Pop-Pop Fizzle, I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And we just got back from seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp. Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes. In case you don't know what we're talking about. Uh, or in case there's another one out of the same title. Yeah, we weren't just out in the backyard looking at the, uh, the ants or the men or the wasps. There are men in the backyard? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're growing back there. Um, <clears throat> we uh, just got back from the movie, so we're going to give you our quick take, our non-spoiler review non for this film. Non-spoiler. And then we'll be back in a separate video where we'll have the spoiler discussion where we talk about things in more detail. Now, that spoiler discussion, once it's uploaded, we'll have a link in the description down below. So after you've seen the movie, you can click that link and you can find it there. Okay? Yep. All right. Heidi, what did you think about Ant-Man and the Wasp? I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I'd been looking forward to it and, uh, you know, just from the trailers, it looked like it would be a lot of fun and it was right. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I also felt like um, you know the original Ant Man was two thousand fifteen, mm -hmm. um, and it was one that people were looking at really hard uh, and looking at really closely because um, Edgar Wright had left that film and Peyton Reed had stepped in to direct it. People were uncertain if a movie about Ant Man would even work. Right. And then they gave us that first film, which was kind of a heist, kind of a fun caper film. Yeah. And uh, Paul Rudd, of course, is charming and works well as Scott Lang as that character. So <clears throat> that first movie really won a lot of people over. Yeah. Because I think their expectations were super low. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, I, I think in spite of the fact that Marvel has spent. 10 years now, at building this point, stuff. building that. Uh, at that point, we weren't quite 10 years in. And, but, and you know, we had, we, had we seen Guardians of the Galaxy at that point? Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. And, and so, that had been an outlier. But then, you know, Ant-Man was another story. They weren't sure that they could do that again. People were uncertain about the character, uncertain about Paul Rudd as a superhero. There were a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, and a lot of fans of Edgar Wright that hated to see him leave that project. So mm -hmm. uh, I think people went into that one kind of expectations low. And then it really surprised them, and it was funny and engaging, and uh, and then, you know, the character of Scott Lang really did fit into the MCU. We got to see him again mm -hmm. in Captain America Civil War. Which was fun. Which was a lot of fun. And uh, that was our first appearance of, uh, of him as Giant Man. We got to see that for a, for a, a hot minute. And then, um, and then we've waited to see, uh, since the end of the original Ant-Man film, yeah. uh, to see Hope Van Dyne as the, the Wasp. Wasp. <clears throat> you, of course, know from the title of this film that we do get to see her in that role in this film, uh, especially if you've seen the trailers, because they're not hiding that fact at all. Surprise! Um, but yeah, I, I felt like, without spoiling anything, I felt like this movie was solidly entertaining. I felt like it was uh, every bit as funny as the first. There were a few things that I felt like um, gave it a different tone and a different feel um, without going into any spoilers. I think some of that was was the amount of time given to certain characters. Yeah. Definitely when you retitle, a, when a, a film is titled Ant-Man and the Wasp, you know that the Wasp is going to be one of the central figures yeah. here. And that that title is not misleading. She, no, she she's... spends a lot of time in this film in front of our eyes so we as, as a co-lead. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't think she steals the show. I don't think it's a, a matter of it being... Out of kilter. I know no, I, I saw some reviews that said that. I don't think so. And I also felt like it was really evenly paced. There wasn't yeah. any point in this movie where I felt like, man, I just wish they'd get back to whatever. Right. There, there, was always, there was always something happening that was interesting. And it was all tied into the bigger story. So it was definitely yeah. worthwhile. And we'll talk more about uh, the villains and motivations and all those things when we do our spoiler discussion. But right now... Uh, all you really need to know is whether we would recommend that you see this film or not, and then yeah. we'll get into more details in our spoiler talk. So, the way we rate films here, um, because we're not professional critics by any far stretch of the imagination, nope. all we care about is whether or not we like the movie, and that's all we're trying to tell you. So, the way that we rate them here is if a movie fizzles, that means don't waste your time, no. uh, don't bother, it wasn't worth it. If it pops, that means, yeah, it was a good flick, we enjoyed it, uh, but you don't necessarily need to see it on the big screen, you can wait for it to be... Um, on uh, Redbox or Netflix, uh, not sponsors. Um, and then uh, then there's the double pop. And the double pop means that we enjoyed ourselves enough in the theater that we recommend that you go ahead and grab that big popcorn and that giant Coke and you go and see 
uh, this movie on the big screen. So those are kind of our loose criteria that we go by, and sometimes we fall in between some of those things. Heidi especially likes to bend the rules a little bit. Huh. But those are the those are the basic sort of uh, qualifiers there. So Heidi, given those criteria... Uh, double pop, like, without a doubt. Because you have to see... You know, we you've seen the trailers. If you haven't, I don't know why not. Why you're even watching this? But if you've seen the trailers, you know that they do a lot of play with the bigger and smaller rising of different things. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun to see that on a big screen. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would also give it a double pop. Um, I would be hard pressed not to give a Marvel movie a double pop. I'm, that's just me being honest about my biases. Mm -hmm. I tend to love the MCU movies, and I tend to think that they're worth seeing on the big screen with. With, I don't even think that can no think of exceptions. an exception. No yeah. exceptions. And by the way, we don't get any Marvel money despite our shirts. Sadly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, the thing is, Marvel movies are definitely meant to be spectacular. They're yeah. definitely meant to uh, to be big Engage, visually and, and, and the big blockbuster kind yeah. of thing. And you know that going in. So uh, I'd be hard-pressed to think of one that doesn't deserve the, the big screen money. So I would definitely say go and check that out. I don't think you'll regret that at all. I'd kind of like to see it again. Sadly, uh, I probably won't get to anytime in the near future, but I really enjoyed it and I, I would think it would be worth another watch. So yeah. those are our non-spoiler thoughts on Ant-Man and the Wasp. As I said, we'll be back with a spoiler review and discussion uh, in another video so be on the lookout for that in the meantime if you like this video hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel we're adding subscribers every day a little bit at a time we're still a teeny little channel but we sure love bringing you on board we love yeah. some of the discussions and the comments that are taking place down there yeah, we're super so be excited. sure and jump in on a conversation let us know what you thought once you've seen Ant-Man and the Wasp and then join our spoiler discussion you can uh, write comments down there and we'll we'll be happy to talk about those things with you until the next time. Bye. Bye.